I'm sitting next to Esther in the TV's flickering gloom, and I'm wondering if she knows the intentions of her groom. The tension mounts betwixt us as my hand rests on her thigh, and I detect her holding back a nervous kind of sigh. At first I kiss her gently, and she trembles at my touch. Her sweet young lip a quiver with nerves and lust and such. A small tongue nips at mine like a bird feeding its chick, or a lizard in the sun giving the air a lazy flick. I draw her close against me, our bodies breast to breast. Our hearts pounding as one, one creature with one chest. Her hand inside my t-shirt runs the gentlest caress. As mine pops open buttons and we both start to undress. Her shirt soon gone, the bra as well, her pert young breasts unleashed. I probe towards her waistband on a quest for golden fleece. The zipper there defeats me, so I turn back to the nipple, where I tweak, squeeze, and manipulate the erotic batsman's triple. She struggles with my buckle, and I move straight to her aid, but with a gentle murmur my assistance is forbade. She perseveres and gets it, the valiant little lamb. My pants come down, it is exposed, the sum of all I am. Her fingers find my penis. They run gentle up the shaft. Intrepid sailors sailing on an unfamiliar craft. She balls her fist around its width and gives a hearty tug, like an ancient caveman clubbing at a strange exotic slug. I take her tiny hand in mine and guide her through the motions. A relaxed grip, a gentle stroke, soft waves on placid oceans. As her attention is engrossed, I try again the zipper. She lifts her hips, her pants slide off, exposed one kidskin slipper. My fingers probe the moistened halls, that fetid labyrinth. My thumb finds her bulbous idol resting on his fleshy plinth. Rubbing his great round belly solicits a quivering shudder. My lips move to her nipple as a calf will find its udder. Our petting takes a downward turn toward oral copulation. She drinks deep from my fountain like one starved to dehydration. I lean back luxuriating in this loving stimulation and I choke her just a little some friendly domination. With a final slurp she puts it down and moves to back away. Her shifting weight alerts me to the end of our foreplay. I move my bulk upon her inhaling deeply of her scent and savoring the final moment of her silent consent. I move to enter Esther. She resists one moment's fight, and then she yields and opens like a lily to the light. A sword sheathed in its scabbard, I plunge within her puss, snakehead eating snakehead, tender odorous. Her leg over my shoulder is the fulcrum to my lever. Her pussy is an in-kind plane, the wheel that drives my pleasure. My battering ram is pounding inside her fast and slow, as her other leg around my neck forms the walls of Jericho. Period is over, and the wrestlers switch positions, with advantage to the female, who commands with trepidation. No longer working for the man, she now works for her orgasm. A fair day's work for a fair day's pay, her insides start to spasm. Then, all at once, she nigh explodes, is shaking head to toe. From deep inside her does erupt an ancient primal flow. A crisis has arisen here. There's now too much lubrication. Thanks be, I need just one more pump. 
before my ejaculation. With a silent gasp of ecstasy and a less than silent moan, a billion tiny grooms spring forth inside their perfect home. I leave my wet deposit in her wrinkled pigskin purse, only later to recall it here in dripping viscous verse.